Jeremy, hello. <clears throat> it is June 2023. I'm very excited. Why? Because this is an unboxing video of the Microtic HAP AX3. So to quote Microtic's uh, own website, our top of the line AX home access point with all the processing power and speed of a household might ever need. Gen 6 wireless, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, power over ethernet, WPA3 and more. Um, that about sums it up really. Um, let's do the unboxing and I'll kind of ramble on at the same time. So this has come from Lin, Lin ITX, which is my preferred supplier in the UK on the grounds that uh, they don't charge an arm and a leg. They're not, they're not shipping the, the goods from outside the, the uh, UK, which of course, since we've got Brexit is a major problem because anything coming from the EU is liable to uh, duty. Um, and uh, yeah, the prices are quite keen. So this is the outer box that they supplied to me. And hopefully the inside is a microtech box. Paper. Of course, there's a smaller microtech box. Yes, lovely. So, I have to admit to being genuinely excited. I'm not putting this on for the camera. I, I really am excited. I, I always find microtech products absolutely fantastically capable. And uh, this has got Wi Fi 6. Now, what have we got in the box? Got a piece of paper saying, don't kill yourself with the 12 volt supply. And um, <laughs> I can already see there's a problem. There's no power adapter. I don't believe it. Oh, right. Okay, Linati, I'm sorry to be on, on to speaking to you. So we have got, we've got a space where the power adapter should be. We've got some mounting screws. We've got the Microtech itself. Let's get all the bits out, shall we? Hang on, I need two areas. Hang on, I have, and I've had another thought. So there's a space where the power adapter should be. He said, look in, in the box. I'm such a fool. We've not just got one power adapter, we've got two power adapters. Okay, so let me just to check the, uh, the box. So, this is the company, Lin ITX. They've shipped me the uh, HAP AX3. We've got... Uh, two power supplies, not just one, which is a little more than I expected. Let's have a little look. We've got a white one, which says uh, power supply, 24 volts, 1.5 amp, 36 watts, UK. We've got a second one, which, oh, this looks more like the microtip one that I'm used to. 24 volts, 1.2 amps, 26.8 watts. So, can you see that? So they sent me two power supplies. Uno, do I? Okay. Uh, we've got the router itself, the plastic stand. Oh. So the latest generation of Microtech routers have got this kind of, it's a metal construction but it's kind of got a very slippery, smooth surface. Very, very uh, attractive to me. And we can mount the router on this plastic stand that's here. We can also mount it on the side that's here. So the router can either stand up or sit flat, in which case this isn't really doing very much, but it might just get it off the ground for cooling. So at the back it says, do not power on without antenna connected. Okay, fair enough. So some rubbery bits there, and we've got one, two, three, four, five ports. Now, let's just go through what we have got and uh, see if we can uh, give you some information that might be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try and take this sticker off. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so we've got a DC power supply between 12 and 28 volts. 
Now, the interesting thing to note about the PLE, power over ethernet powering of this device, is that um, it's not the active PLE that I would normally expect. So there's the power over ethernet in or out. And it's a 12 to 28 volt power supply. Now, I have got a power over ethernet device that I use for cameras. And that's a 48 volt device. So when you normally buy a PoE device, you buy one of these and you get a 48 volt adapter. This will not work with this Microtik. Um, and similarly, if you're powering, say, a security camera and you connect this output to the camera, it does not work. So the PoE is kind of hmm, more Microtik specific, I would say, or, or it doesn't work with any of the devices I ever use apart from Microtik, so it's not very useful. You've got a two and a half, uh, 2.5 gig port, which again, I don't think is very useful. These days, I wish everyone had gone to the 10 gig standard, which has been around for at least a decade, but manufacturers seem to have gone to the two and a half gig standard on the grounds that it's good enough. I think that's absolute crap. Anyway, so you've got the rest of the other ports there, they're one gig ports. Um, you've got a USB connection. So for example, you could install a, a uh, 4G modem. And of course, then you have to configure it using a, a router OS, which would be non-trivial. And you've got a mode button, which of course you can disable in router OS, but you can make it do what you want, as well as a reset button, which again, you can disable. So you could lock out the system so that once installed, it cannot be reset uh, at all. Or alternatively, you can make the mode button or reset button do other things. I think that's it. This is going to be a fantastic product. It's running Router OS 7, the latest Router OS, and it's going to be easily capable with Wi Fi 6 and these enormous aerials um, and multi chain support. It's going to have a, a vast amount of coverage uh, in our home. Okay, thanks for watching.